Hello and welcome everybody to Experiments in Shaper 3D. Today I'm going to be focusing on a tapered thread or a conical thread, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have not tried this with actual thread, so I can't say it works for sure. But I know that now you can taper threads, uh, specifically in my case for 3D printing. Uh, so let's just get into it. Let me show you how a regular thread is usually done. We basically make the shape and we rotate it and then we choose however many degrees and so on. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty simple as long as you have your math down. In this case, I'm just showing you random stuff because I'm just trying to prove a point. But what do we do to make it conical or tapered? It's usually really hard because it just doesn't work. So let me uh, go through some steps and show you. Now I've already done this a few times, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and not start from scratch but just give you the steps that you need to take to design it to the point where it works. So let me show you. So we need to start off by making our taper. Uh, in this case, uh, let's make it 5, no, let's make it 10 degrees for visual effect just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Once we have that, we need to make a top part which we will be subtracting to make our design. So it doesn't matter what shape you use, just whatever is easier to subtract. But the main point is that we revolve it so that we have a round shape on the inside. As you can see, I mentioned that little cut there. And then what we need to do is drag the base down so that it goes all the way because it's harder to do it on a revolved body. So we just drag it down and it's easier to subtract it than to edit it later. So we hide that for now and we move on to the next step. We need to make our base just because again it's harder later with all the sketches hidden. So we're going to also make the cone a little bit smaller so that we can see what we're doing for now. And we hide that one as well. Now to the thread. What do we need to do to make a tapered thread? We need to make it a rectangle. Believe it or not, this is why it works because we have a body that's big enough to edit and that was the reason that was holding me back is because usually when you have a small body it's hard to edit but the bigger the surface the flatter the surface the easier it is to make so we're gonna go ahead and make uh, a revolution here so we can start with that and what we need to do after that is just to subtract so watch where we go with this all right, now what we're gonna do is just open up the top hat. So we can subtract it from our thread body. And uh, once we have that, you can finally see the cone shape starting to come up. And we're just gonna open up the base and change a few colors for visual effects so we can see it more clearly about what we're doing. So that's not a big deal, you don't have to do that. Basically after that, we need to select uh, the edges. There are four total edges for us to work with. Uh, there's two bottom edges and two top edges, so let's start with the bottom. We select those and we chain for that to get to our sharper edge. So again, this is not an actual thread. This is just for my needs. I needed it for 3D printing, so it will work for me. And I just want to mention, it is hard to edit. It's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of math involved here, as you can see. So you got to work with it, see what, what you can do and what you can't. Uh, but anyways, after we did the bottom one, we try to match the top. So we got 0.8 millimeters on the bottom. Let's try to get 0.8 on the top. And as you can see, it worked. So we have an equal thread all the way through. Uh, so that's pretty nice. And as you can see, that is the melting point of all the math that's involved in this. Uh, so as long as that looks good, you're gonna be able to do it. Uh, so let's go from there. So what I'm gonna do right now is again, just for visual effect, I'm gonna Go ahead and level out uh, the base to match the thread at least partially and i want to mention the reason that the conical or taper thread didn't work before is because when you use the cone method and you projected the spiral onto it and you tried to sweep some kind of thread it would always twist so the only one that would actually work is the circle thread but the circle or round thread it has very limited application whereas the sharp threads you can actually use them to hold things together very nicely so uh, I mean, was this project a success? Uh, I don't know, it depends on what you need it for. So for me, this is just fine because I had fun doing it. Uh, will this work in the real world with an actual thread? I leave that up to you. Tell me in the comments if it worked for you. 
but we're gonna stop here and I'm gonna leave the future up to you so if you learn something go ahead and like this video share it uh, subscribe to see more stuff because I always do something in Shaper it's uh, something I really like to do so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye